Good evening and welcome to News 24. This is Sherina Wahid with the top news of the day. The fire at the plastic factory in Lalbak in the capital was brought under control by the firefighters after a one and a half hour effort. The fire started in a tin shed factory in the fourth lane of Shohid Nagor Bow Bazar, according to the fire service. On receiving the news, the first unit of the fire brigade reached the spot. Then one by one, 12 units started working there and finally brought the fire under control. Shofiq Rahman has been spreading extremist ideologies in remote areas of the country in the disguise of an imam for 21 years. Shofiq is the convict in the August 21st Granite attack and Romna Baltimore case. Rab arrested the convict from Bhairab on Thursday. At a press conference, the organization said that Shofikur had a secret relationship with the terrorist organization by hiding his identity. Shofiq will change his name to Abdul Karim. He did not have any contact with his family or relatives. Rab has said that he was involved in the assassination of former finance minister Shah M.S. Kibria. <laughs> On the occasion of Idul Fitr, the advance sale of bus tickets for homebound people has started from today. However, most of the ticket counters were empty. Concerned authorities said this year's Eid holiday is longer than usual and the demand for tickets is not that high now due to having a lot of time on hand. As per the announcement of the Bangladesh Bus Truck Owners Association, advanced tickets are being sold at the counters from the morning. Those who bought tickets were satisfied as they were sold at the specified prices. Sub-Inspector Halimur Rahman of Lal Munirhan Shadar Police Station have been withdrawn following the death of the youth in safe custody. Earlier, a young man named Robil was arrested in Lal Munirhan on suspicion of gambling. On, on suspicion of gambling at a Boishaki fair in the Hiramonik area of the Harati Union in Lal Munirhan, police arrested some people in the raid there. <coughs> He died after being taken to Lal Munihar Shadur Hospital. The deceased family and relatives alleged that Rupil died due to police torture. Angry locals blocked the Rangpur Lal Munihar Highway demanding a proper investigation and justice. They also vandalized a police vehicle. BNP Jamaat wants to make the country a land of famine. While the Aumili government made the country self-sufficient in food production, an Aumili Presidium member and Agriculture Minister Dr. Abdul Razak, he made the statement while distributing Eid gifts among the underprivileged people at Kodumtuli in the capital on Friday. Different levels of Aumili leaders were present at the program. About 2,000 people received Eid clothes and food. At least 150 Palestinians were injured in a clash with Israeli soldiers in the Alaska Mosque complex on Friday morning. According to the reports, Israeli forces conducted a drive in the mosque complex while hundreds of Palestinians gathered for prayer. The Palestinian Red Cross claimed that 67 injured were taken to hospital. A guard was injured in the eye. Police said that the Palestinians were gathering stones in the mosque complex. A group of Palestinians started to throw stones at the Jewish prayer site. The police entered the Alaska mosque premises to dispose them. A Russian warship that was damaged by an explosion on Wednesday had sunk, Russia's defense ministry has said. Moscow, the flagship at Russian's Black Sea Fleet, was being towed to port when stormy seas caused it sink, according to the ministry statement. Kiev says its missiles hit the warship. Moscow has not reported any attack. It says the vessel sank after a fire. Meanwhile, Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky, in the video call, asked for more military and aid to the West. He claimed that in the Russian invasion, 14,000 people were killed in the eastern Ukraine.
He alleged that the Europeans were paying oil prices in exchange for the blood of others. Meanwhile, U.S. President Joe Biden said Washington is planning to send a senior official to Kyiv to show support for Ukraine. And that is all the news for today. Thank you for watching News24. Please stay with us.